with our 30 kilo bikes going up this monster hill. <sighs> We're straight onto the dirt. Bike is making a lot of rattling noises. I guess it's the Trangia rattling around in the back there. I need to let some air out the tyres. Bit of a bone shaker. We got snow. It never gets easy this bloody hill. Bloody cheat. A man suffering. for a, an igloo at the top the sanctuary stop at the hut and here we are top of Serio look at the snow still a ton of it so last time David had his ice tyres down here Today it looks like we won't need them. And now we are going to discover how far we can get up here. This will give us a clue whether we can get to Kuta or not. It's unbelievable! It's proper bloody snow! Bloody hell! Here comes Intrepid Alley. <laughs> Look at him go, he's just, he's got the balance. All of us. Yeah. Okay, we're having to push up here. There's no way we can ride it. It's a good like 20 to 30 centimeters here. And there we were, wondering whether there's any snow at all. It's not really rideable, but well, I think on, on my mount, unloaded mountain bike, I'd probably get through a lot more of it. Mister. He's just stirring yeah, the sauce the on the way up. Yeah, bolt down again. Rest the pedals. Don't stuff the bloody thing into your shin like I did. <laughs> a little bit of snow on your bike. They're not too much. What a beauty. Alice in ice. four degrees and it feels quite warm the drum is still there waiting for Ali to play it
makes letting a bit of air out the tyres. And they're just so different. Getting super gnarly now. Look at the state of it. Look at David's looking very colourful now with his green pants and red top. Blue helmet. What, what, what flag is that? Blue, red and green. David Starn. Now it's time to, to plough through the snow. Whoa! And he's off. We get a nice soft landing into the snow. hurt my wrist which is not clever so perhaps I shouldn't be so foolhardy. Splashing mud in slow motion. <laughs> and back to the the hike of biking. Get a close up of the crinkles. So we're down to only trail runners and hikers going this far. What's Alan doing up there? He's having a slash. Two and a half hour we're going to get today. <laughs> and yeah. then, you know, in, in one sort of time frame too. I do have to get back at some point. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Going through bloody rivers of water. deep yeah. <laughs> it's up to the axles you die here or we get through David's last words Whoa! out of control there Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, look at it, ice water. No. <laughs> hey, so 
So there we've got uh, my Trangia. And over here, we have David's Trangia. Sometimes it's hard to see the flames. David's feeling his Trangia love. Top to it. Yeah, we've got the mulled wine. What do you think? It's supposed, it's supposed to have capers in it, but we ran the capers. Oh, <laughs> we didn't have any. Good, so, that's but, nice. uh, you're not going to complain, are you? Awesome. He's got focaccia as well, bloody hell. Focaccia is <laughs> We're um, cleaning up the sauce afterwards. Is oh, basically why? a tray of batter. <gasps> of, of Feels like Christmas. Pudding. Well, um, we, 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 we've got a problem here. The, uh, there's too much pasta. <laughs> David, what do we do? <laughs> David has produced some toasted focaccia to mop up our sauce. Up yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get very far up here. I don't think we're going to get far up here. Is it worth going up here? It's a no-no. They... Very few patches of, um, of um, yeah. We're going to head back now. This is an adventure for another day. That grand burger. Yeah! Fish and chips. And finally, we end the day with fish and chips. <laughs>